All right, so as you guys know, we love Ford Rangers over here. In fact, we've always kind of felt like they were the underdogs of the truck world. People just don't give these things the credit that they deserve. And quite frankly, we just don't get it why Ford never made a dually Ranger because these things are heavy hauling machines, as you guys have seen previously. So anyways, that's what we're gonna be doing today, building a dually converted Ford Ranger. So according to our calculations, in order to make this build work, we had to put a five inch rough country lift on it. So that's what we're gonna be doing first, bringing over to our buddy Scott's and having him put this on. It's not that we're not capable of putting a lift kit on this thing. It's just, it's a 99. We don't wanna deal with the rust. I'm sorry, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> but the rest of it, we will be doing ourselves. I don't know if Scott actually knows what we're bringing him right now, but I can't imagine he's gonna be too stoked when he sees it. They're probably not used to working on things this nice around here. <laughs> yeah, all these shitty exotics. Now I know you're not used to working on something this nice. I'm have to bust the torches out, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, quick break in today's video to tell you about our video sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder is a free multiplayer game about confrontations between military ground vehicles, aircraft, and naval vessels. With the new Drone Age update recently being released, both reconnaissance and strike drones are now available to players. One of the main novelties in the Drone Age update is an iconic Soviet aircraft, the Su-25 Frogfoot. Also, dozens of new air, naval, and ground vehicle models have been added. Visual effects have been improved. Various parts now fly off a tank when it explodes, and if ammunition detonates, only a turret and a crater remains. In air battles, enemy aircraft fuel tanks can now be blown up too. So go download War Thunder for free using the link in our description. All new players and those who haven't entered War Thunder for six months or more will receive half a million silver lions, a week of renting out legendary German ground vehicles, three premium vehicles as a gift forever, XP boosters, and other bonuses. So go hurry up and get all these from the link down below in our description. Big thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. They make builds like the Dually Ranger possible. Let's get back into it. got the front wheels on we didn't plan on that but we didn't have a choice the lift is on and now it's time to make this thing a little bit prettier i mean it's already like a nine out of ten we're gonna make it a ten out of ten <laughs> i guarantee you guys will not guess what color we picked to wrap it <laughs> you would have never guessed oh my god is that ranger red it's not raptor red it's ranger red yeah so it is actually a different color from the from the raptor crandall is so happy dude he's just wants to do oh, another yeah. crammed one day build again cran at least this one's a quality build though you know it's it's uh no rust it's gonna be really easy yeah. well, yeah. Don't Shit, hurt yourself, man. Bro. I know we said we'd eat dinner, but we'll just do this real quick, do the full wrap, and then we'll go get it. <laughs> man, you gotta feed Cran here. Have you ever wrapped something this no, beautiful? I wouldn't accept it in my shop. <laughs> just because of the liability of if you broke something, or because you didn't yeah, want like the rust. If any rust, rust falls out, I'm liable for it. <laughs> if you wrap this in uh, four hours, no, 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 no. Ken will give you his. I'm not spending his, his four hours on this. It's, 60 minutes. <laughs> Somebody get a timer here? Gotcha. You're at 5.56. Okay. I'll set a timer now. Hey, how are ya? This does have to look somewhat presentable though. Just keep that in mind. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you how to do your job. Just keep that in mind. You can have things three ways. You can have it cheap, you can have it fast, and you can have it good. But you can only get two of them. <laughs> and time. 155.45. Under two. Pretty good, under yeah. two hours. Under two, two hours, yeah, that's pretty good. The wrap, questionably uh, quality wise, but Dude, looks good from bad. afar. <laughs> it really is. Five steps back. Solid unit right there, folks. Definitely don't get any closer than that. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Did you, I think you broke the bulb. We're not supposed to break the bulb. 
No, we need the bulb for the other headlight. We can get more. Unbelievable. All right, wrap is done. It was definitely an hour and a half job. You can tell at pretty much any corner, it's starting to lift already. So just don't get close to it and we'll pretend that it's halfway decent. Uh, broken headlights, those are being replaced right now with some freshies. Make the front look a little bit cleaner. And uh, I think the wheel adapters are ready to go on. So this was like the biggest pain in the butt to have a five lug Ranger hub go into an eight lug dually wheel. So we had to get like these custom, I think these are three inch in the rear for the spacer and then four inch in the front. It took us forever to find a company that would make that because believe it or not, most people don't want to dually convert a Ranger. So these are going on, hopefully they fit uh, because we basically just had to huck and pray with all the dimensions. So we'll see. Oh. Alright, dually wheels are on. Looks pretty good, so now we gotta figure out what to do for a fender to cover it up. So we figured we could just buy this trailer fender. Okay, this is actually pretty good. All right, so we have two ideas. The first one is just leave them black, and then the second one is wrap them red. So if wrapping it red does not work, just because it's kind of weird and we're not sure if it's gonna stick to it, they're gonna be black underneath uh, as a backup plan. Look at these things. Turned out so good. Now we just gotta figure out how to mount them. Huh? All right, so it's 245, I feel like we just finished the SEMA build and it honestly turned out really, really good. But the rest of the guys, CJ, Ken, and Ryan, all went home at like eight o'clock last night and they didn't really know that we were gonna finish this up tonight. So I think what we're gonna do is back this thing in here, cover it up with a sheet, and then uh, film their reactions of seeing it for the first time in the morning. All right, we were here late last night. We finished it up. I wanna get you guys' a genuine reaction to seeing it, good or bad. I have a feeling some might think it's good, some might think it's bad. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready, let's yeah. do this. Why am I nervous? <laughs> it looks Damn, awesome. dude, that looks good. Fenders look, I don't know why Ken thinks the fenders look because they look amazing. Considering we took trailer fenders and somehow fixed them to this, how'd you guys get them on? Dude, this looks oh, so nice. good. Like this turned out way better than I expected it to. This is the most ridiculous looking Ford Ranger I think I've ever seen in my life. All right, moment of truth. She looks fantastic, but does she drive? <laughs> I've only driven it like 10 feet, but it feels really good. <laughs> Dude, I didn't think it would be that cool. You better like take care of the, I would drive this thing daily. Doesn't it look like weirdly factory? No, I mean, it does, that's just it. It's not that bad. I thought it was just gonna be stupid. It looks so wrong, but looks so right. It's pretty sturdy. Dude, it's got such a wide stance now, you can kind of rail the corner. <laughs> it definitely starts to buck a little bit at about 50. It gets jiggly at 50. Oh, two wide loads here. Holy shit. We got two wide loads on the road. <laughs> Dude, that guy was so confused. All right, let's see if this thing can perform half as good as it looks. Straight back, about, uh, stop. Oh, oh my gosh. That's aggressive. Okay, she's squatting out a little bit. She's not fully tucked, oh. but she's pretty tucked. I think it's on the bump stops though. I think that's all the suspension has to give. Yeah, she's on the bump stops. A little squat on the Ranger don't hurt nobody though. It's good for her. Man, this thing's a workhorse. <laughs> it's 
thing is such a little unit. Oh, CJ, CJ! Oh, oh, oh. Dude! Oh! <laughs> you gotta take these things a little wider. Oops, sorry, Mark. All right, last time we did this with the stock ranger, we put the SEMA truck on it. Looked pretty funny, but it did it pretty well. I think this time we gotta do two vehicles. Yeah, I think we do the Broncos. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> no, <laughs> just I love the limo on it. Oh! <laughs> That'd be better, I think. Ken just doesn't want his Bronco on the back. After seeing how you were driving, hell no. I think the limo is about as long as this trailer. Just eyeballing it, it looks like it's close. When's the last time you got those eyeballs calibrated? Uh, last time Ben threw cake in my face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the plan here? I think we've got a hole in the bottom of the field over there that hopefully CJ can back up to and then we'll be able to drive this on top of the trailer. Because it's too long, you think it'll get like hung up in the middle? Keep it coming, keep it coming. Two feet, one foot, stop! Yep, straight, you're good, just straight on from here. Oh, whoa! Okay. Yeah, nice. yep. We're not gonna push a limit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what? what a strange series of events we have here. We have a, a dually ranger with a gooseneck connected to it and our limo hung up in our dirt bike track. When you add some context to it, it sounds very strange. This day just keeps getting more ridiculous. It's like the towing gods are telling us to stop right now. Matt Damon said, fortune favors the brave. <laughs> Can just drop a crypto.com plug? <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone that listened to Matt Damon is flat broke right yeah. now, Ken. So I, I don't know if we want to take Matt Damon's advice. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. This Ranger looks like it's about to do a wheelie. I don't know if this is a good idea. No, let me... Let me rephrase that. This is a bad idea and we know it. We got any bendage? The uh, leaf springs are like this now. <laughs> but like, other than that, I don't know. Honestly, it's doing just fine. Oh, I should have said that. She's pulling her. It's got to be negative, dude. We started with three-fourths a tank, and Seriously? we're almost at a quarter. Oh my god. Lord. Just can't beat them. We've got to be the only people in the world that have ever towed their limousine with a Ford Ranger dually. Get her up to about 6,000 RPMs and then just knock her in reverse. All right, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, easy. Dude, I can't wait to take this trailer off and see if these leaf springs come back to life <laughs> or if they're just permanently just reversed. It looks to all be in check. Get a shot of how rusty these leaf springs are. Hey, hey, I want to see one good drift around uh, corner three on the track here. If Ev gets behind the wheel, I guarantee it breaks. Yeah, I think you're barred from driving this one, Ev. Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't want to be the one to take this thing out. We've proven so far these things are indestructible. Yeah, you guys always seem to find a way, yeah. though. No much as it is moving circular. All right guys, the Julie Ford Ranger passed every test today with flying colors. Comment down below if you guys have any ideas on what we could do with the next. 
And also, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 2 million subscribers before the end of the year. So if you aren't, hit the subscribe button and uh, we will see you guys next time.